three o'clock in the afternoon cravings that we might have, or maybe the nighttime munchies that you get, how do you turn down the hunger? That's what Dr. Shayesta is here to answer for us today. Teresa, hunger is not a good thing because when we are hungry, we eat more food, more food means more calorie, more trouble with weight. Of course, we have to look at it where these hunger signals comes in. If you look at our brain, one of the major source of the hunger is lack of food. So we don't eat food, blood sugar drops, that tells brain it's time to eat. But sometimes our brain sends false hunger signals because of the thirst, craving, when we are bored, even stress, even visually seeing the food triggers these hunger signals. Mm -hmm. So or we need to smelling it. Exactly. So we need to shut down those. One of the best ways to shut down the hunger signal, Teresa, is adding plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables. The fiber is the key because our stomach doesn't sense calorie, Teresa, senses the volume. By having more volume, you can send the satiety signal and shut down the hunger signals. De definitely having a bowl of vegetable soup, low calorie, I'm not talking about creamy stuff, before the meal as a first course, shut down significantly our hunger so signals. So you'll eat less Absolutely. The now research or trees, having three, four cups of healthy salad reduces our calorie intake by 12%. As long as you're not adding ranch dressing. You're absolutely it. right. Going back to this interesting, now research showed Teresa, having healthy fat, I'm not talking about eating fried foods, such as olive oil on your salad, releases a hormone called leptin from our fat cells that actually goes to the brain, shut down the hunger signals. Okay. So you don't need to be on fat-free diet, but you need to be healthy fat. Another one research shows having a dairy product, such as a glass of skim milk, this important milk has two proteins, whey protein and casein, and both of them suppresses our hunger signal. So having a glass of milk before a major meal is absolutely a good idea. And definitely another one, three set, slowing down the eating. Mm -hmm. Research shows that it takes about 20 minutes of our brain to pick up the presence of food over the stomach. So if you eat your whole dinner in 20 minutes, you don't even know how much you really By the time really brain wakes up, we already consume most of the calories. So by small attention to volumetric aspect diet and a little bit slowing down, we can significantly cut down our uh, calorie intake. Teresa, tomorrow is my favorite holiday. <laughs> Happy 4th of July to everybody. But eat slowly. Eat that hamburger slowly. More fiber salad. Okay. <laughs> Skip the I don't know. We'll let, you, we'll let you talk about the menu. Okay. <laughs> Eating slowly, just real quick before we go. Is that one of the reasons why a Mediterranean diet is so successful for some people? Because of the culture of just talking and eating so Absolutely. slowly? Absolutely. And also, Mediterranean diet is loaded with a lot of fiber. Teresa, volume is the key. Our stomach doesn't sense the calories. So when we have a bowl of ice cream, a lot of calorie, but it's not digested. Right. Volume small, calories high. Okay. So we have to do opposite. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in. Thanks Happy Fourth of July to Thank you, you very as much well. To you too. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this.